Hi everybody, Story 9, Living Aboard with Chihuahuas, episode 27, beginning part 1. The Wa is talking to the wolf, explaining to him about Apophis being trouble and telling Wolfie to lose some weight and get serious about the raccoon group. Ciao! From the Wa, woof, woof. Listen, Wolfie, we got Taco's message about the raccoons you've got over there at Auntie Donna's house. Trask has been telling us about them for a lot of years, and I can tell you that Apophis is one bad dude. You don't say. I'm not sure you're ready to take on the likes of him. You've been sitting on your chunky butt on the couch for a long time, yeah, sure. and now you want to just run off the biggest and most organized group of rascals in the area? Have you forgotten about your stitches? Are you out of your mind? Well, could You aren't be. a mastiff or rottweiler. How's a half-breed like you going to be able to get over on Apophis? I know you'll have help, but you must be able to pull your own weight. You know that an extra eight pounds, or why they call you the meatball, you need to trim down to our six and a half pounds. Oh, no. If you really are stuck on doing something about them, the first thing you better do is get in shape. You see how muscular we are? Well, it's not. From laying on a pillow in the laundry room all day, we can tell you that. So get busy, watch your diet, exercise, and keep scouting those coons. Find out everything you can about them, where they live, what they eat, what they do, motive, Wolfie motive. That's what you need to do. Figure out their motive. We know you are an amateur at this. Just like we always say, if you can't run with the little dogs, then go lay on your pillow. We can talk about how this turns out when you Taco and Ella come home. From Dylan, Woof, Woof Taco, Ella and Wolfie. Yip and Off are getting ready for our final move to Florida. They have been fixing up the mobile. Yip says it's almost time to come and get you guys. You're going to love it here. Yesterday, I caught two yeah, fish. sure. Yes, two fish. And boy, those suckers do get big. I found out you can eat them. Cats really like them. Yeah, yep, says they're good to eat, but that I must wait until she cooks them up. These fish are so smelly that I could eat one right now. I really wish I could roll around on them. The smellier, the better. You should have seen how I caught them. I swear every word of this is true. Yeah, sure. The first fish was circling around the dinghy, and a flash of silver caught my eye. I jumped down into the dinghy and started yelling at him. That fish was just lying on his side, swimming round and around and around, and giving me that one-eyed stare. He was watching me swimming and not really looking where he was going when thump that stupid fish thumped right into the bottom blum, of the boat blum. and it stunned him. I reacted with my lightning fast chihuahua speed and stunning gymnastic ability as I reached over the side of the dinghy and grabbed his top fin. Then I drugged him, squirming and flopping back into the dinghy. He was heavy, wow. but I wasn't going to let go because I was afraid if I did, I'd fall in with him. Splash. Jazz started barking to the sound of the alarm. Then I saw another one, and with the quickest move you ever saw, I had that second fish into the boat too. Boy, were Yip and Oof surprised when they came oh out my and goodness found gracious two big me. fish in the bottom of the dinghy. I tried to get close to him to give him a sniff. He flopped all over the place. He sure was mad. I guess he had a right to be. He had two rows of teeth, and it was very freaky to look down at his throat. I felt most sorry for him until he tried to nip me when I smelled his tail. I stepped over him so that I could get a better angle while sniffing, and the next thing I knew, he had his slimy lips wrapped around my hind leg. Oh no! Yow, I jumped back so quickly that I nearly fell overboard. But now that I am an accomplished swimmer, it doesn't scare me as badly as it used to. My story is a little fishy, you but can Yip say admits that again. she cannot come up with any better reason that those fish were in the dinghy. But just because she didn't see me catching them, doesn't mean I didn't. As you can see, they are bleeding a little from where I tasted them. Woof woof Dylan. Hi everybody, story number nine, Living Aboard with Chihuahuas, episode 27, end part one. 
Dylan is telling his story about catching the fish. He even admits that the story sounds a little fishy, but Uff and Yip can't account for where the fish came from, so they believe Dylan. Ciao!